just an incredible view of Lake Medicine, folks. Comment down below if you love this view. Maybe I'll show you more of it, or maybe I can convince you guys to go too and visit this yourself. See for yourself how it looks. Keep enjoying this video and you'll have no problem watching every part of the interesting parts of the vlog. Eventually things will become more interesting to the cruise, so, so on and so forth. I'll detail it more about it later. Keep enjoying this video, folks. I'll see you guys soon. Alrighty guys, our aviation back. This is going to be the boat we are going to board in approximately three minutes. It's going to be interesting. Let's get it. Look at this guys. We're gonna be sailing in approximately a few minutes. Look at the mountains and the lake background. How beautiful it is. And this is the lake called Malin Lake. You can even see a few names here, especially on this house, which looks so beautiful. And the boats. Well, would you look at this? This is the boat we're going to be riding in for today. So, if you guys listen to any part of the tour, please let this be it. Now, we are on a boat, yeah? On a body of water, yeah? So, what does a boat on a body of water need for everyone on board? Yes, so you guys brought your own? Sorry, you forgot it. Well, we do have backups for you guys who are a bit absent minded. Through, reset all of that growth. So what's been happening over the past 100 years is our forest here has become quite monoculture. The lodgepole pine in particular has been able to crowd out the area creating a bit of a canopy effect not allowing any light to reach the forest floor. So what's happened is that there's no more sunlight for those small bushes like berries, fireweed and new saplings to start growing. Now, those three things, the fireweed, the berries, and the saplings, are great food for animals of the area. Um, so actually, we are not gonna see any animals here. This is not a wildlife tour. Uh, that's because there's not much here for them to graze on. So when we look at things like the burn scar back there, that's actually the healthiest part uh, as well. We're seeing it in its entirety right now. Now, about 100 years ago, this glacier had come down to that very first horizontal rocky ridge line with the waterfall in the center. So that shows you how far it's receded over the past 100 years. And we believe that this glacier will disappear completely within the next 60 years. So, pretty special for us guys to be able to see this glacier at the end of its life. So, take the pictures while you can, folks.
Yes, so over there is the holy land of Spirit Island, which we're not allowed to walk on. Yeah. <laughs> Swimming time. Yay! Okay. Oh yeah. Wow, but I, I'm not strong enough to pull myself on this dock, so I have to go there so I can climb up. Looking down upon them, and when they're performing their ceremonies at Spirit Island, they are pointing directly at Mount Monkhead, and the spirit of Mount Monkhead is bestowing upon them their knowledge and their wisdom. Yeah, absolutely. Go out on the back deck as much as you like here. It's completely open for you guys. Now, the indigenous people never... Got it all the way through. Uh, so he won that contest, and his photo was blown up to billboard size and hung in Grand Central Terminal in New York. Uh, now, he labeled that photo uh, Spirit Island, and when he was asked why, he had said that he thought the photo truly captured the spirit of the Canadian Rockies, which I think is a pretty apt description. It is quite a beautiful place, uh, one of the most beautiful mountain ranges that we have here in Canada. Now, unfortunately, we don't really know much about Thania Makoche and the history of it, uh, and that ties it We're leaving the island now. It was nice visiting. We're going back for another 35 minutes. We're riding. Let's go. There we are, folks.
how deep this goes.